A southern Indiana teen who spent his entire high school career on the sidelines surprised everyone when he finally got a chance to hit the hardwood. The team manager of the boys basketball team at Providence recently dressed for a game. And as WLKY's Lauren Adams reports, he had everyone in the bleachers cheering his name. It was a shot that changed everything. <laughs> for senior Andrew Singleton. It was a moment he had dreamed of playing for his high school team, the Providence Pioneers. For our guys, it's something that it's a daily basis for them that they're going to hit the shots and that need us for us to win. But for me, it was I just got in a varsity game and hit a hit a three pointer. As the team manager, Andrew has spent four years filling up coolers, packing bags, really whatever the team needed. But whenever he could, he hit the hardwood to practice, waiting for his chance. <laughs> Andrew had asked, you know, he had mentioned, come senior year, can I, can I get in for a game? And we said, well, Andrew, we'll see you. Coach Ryan Miller says Andrew's dedication to the team and passion for the game yes. was hard to ignore. So on senior night, he decided to let him dress for the game. We just wanted all of his hard work um, to be rewarded. And on that particular Friday night, it was a pretty tough matchup. In fact, the last time they faced this team, the Pioneers lost. So when the buzzer rang at halftime, Andrew knew he might not make it onto this court. But his teammates promised him otherwise. When I went into the locker room at halftime, they told me uh, we're getting you in this game. And it was the coolest thing ever to know that like they had my back to get me in. And once he was in. The guys were, were screening for him looking for him, you know, getting him opportunities. And, and to Andrew's credit, he was not shy about letting it fly. The shot Andrew had practiced for and dreamed of making, he says, was worth the wait. It was an amazing experience that I will never forget. In Clarksville, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.